Welcome back to the Audio Ag Show. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're sitting here with Nori Davis. He'll be at Governor's Comedy Club in Long Island, January 3rd and 4th, uh, first weekend of the new year. Now, uh, do you have a guy that you'll take to open for you? Or are you, uh, you just going to no. use... No, I think I'm a. I'm at the beginning where you're a slave to the club. Where you're they're like, gonna give. They're gonna tell you a guy. Yeah, they can give me a guy, and I'm just happy to do the spot. Right. And uh, fill in that time and try to build that fan base and people come out. So it's like the real beginning. Were you uh, opening for Tracy then? Yeah, I was opening for now, Tracy. How many minutes were you do for Tracy? Uh, 25. That's I would do so. 25 or 20. And what were you playing? Like casinos, theaters? We were doing Carolines the and whole clubs, weekend. Yeah, yeah, right, clubs, yeah, clubs, right. clubs, and a, a theater. The first time I did a theater with him, it was like 18,000 or like, it, no, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's like a couple grand of people. Yeah, yeah. And I was uh, say 18,000. Yeah, that's the I was guard, like, yeah, that's the guard. Like, I'm tripping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's but you know, you know Tracy, uh, Tracy's going to be a perennial guy yeah. who was always going to do great numbers, you know? But, yeah, but it was great, man. I learned a lot from him. And right. it's the first time doing like a large crowd in the theater versus a club because yeah. the, the theater you do, is so different. You do your act. And like, there's no, like, crowd interact. Like, it's pitch black. It's like, do your act, keep yep. going, and then boom. And um, it was it was a great run, man. Had a good thing. With it's it weird because when, after you do clubs, that, that crowd interaction, them saying stuff almost becomes part of the show. Exactly. Like, you know, you're going to get that reaction when you don't yeah. get it, and it's just that darkness. You're like, <laughs> the abyss of a theater. You're like, you're not saying anything. And then you hear laughter. You're like, okay. I yeah. guess I, and if you get a paycheck, it's all It's, it's so all, good. It always, but it's way different. It's so different. Sometimes you like it because you can just hide behind your act and just like, I'm just going to do my jokes, press play. And yeah. then just go. But then with the club, it's like people there, they're in your face, man. You got, And then they interact, and then you in, you interact with that. You react, and it's just like, oh, man, this is great. It's real. So I, I like them both. It's like a good way both. to get your act tight because yeah. you got to do your act, and you can't veer off it. So you yeah. do. I tell you, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the one hit of quitters, man. Yeah. One show, 930, good night. <laughs> the money's good enough, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, right? Casinos you know, pay you good. That'd be, you know, I, you I like one. that. You hit it. You, you get amped. You hit that show hard. Boom. And then good night. Well, when's the next show? Eh? Come tomorrow. Right. It's a, you know, <laughs> if it's a casino, you just got to make sure you stay away from what, but, what I did, which is hit the crap table. Oh, uh, man. No, you, leave that, you leave there owing the money. I don't gamble. I don't gamble. Good because I use, I usually always, I'll, like I'll go, I do the Bogata. Nice. And I'll be like, all right, man, I'm feeling myself. Beautiful. So I, I put in 20. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Gone. Going yeah. ten, I like it'll, it'll get down to two dollars, oh, and then I win back seventeen. Yeah, yeah. And then I go, right. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> I cash out. I Good. cash out right there. So. Good, it's the worst. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to do free stand up. That's bad. <laughs> oh god, exactly. it's so depressing. So it's like you know. <laughs> and I watch the the Kung Pao table, whatever the, you know the the Asian game. I don't know what that is. <laughs> no, no I mean, Kung Pao means free stand up. <laughs> That's what it means. Free stand up. How did you how how did you get the the Boardwalk Empire gig? Oh man, of, yeah, Boardwalk Empire. City. I um yeah I um I auditioned for it, and uh, I guess I was a good looking black guy. No, no, but no, that's, that, that, that's, I mean, a, that's juicy a juicy role. Deal. Yeah, role. man, it was a good role. It's a recurring role I have. Too. Now, what it's it's Chalky's. Uh, what is it? It's his I'm, son. No, no, no. I'm I'm Daniel. I'm just like a waiter in the back of the bar, but right. I have a line where I interact with Chalky White. But isn't it a bigger role? Is there a, no, a, no, that's it. But that's I, about <laughs> it. That's about, I have one line. But episode it's recurring. two, and then episode it's ten, it's I got real... another line, and I'm out, baby. Don't to my trailer. So it was two episodes. Two episodes. I was in. Yeah. Oh, but see, I got. I know you got to get a good feeling there, man. You got that's the place you go where you know. First of all, it's an honor just to be involved with that. You got to know yeah, what man. you're doing on some level because those people don't fool around. Oh yeah, it's very professional, that's man. I got make... my line on set. I didn't even know I had the line, but I had the line on set. And that I... means they like you, man. I'm telling yeah. you, you got to mm -hmm. make the right contacts, and uh, they know you're going to be good. You're exactly. not going to screw it up. You yeah, know? man, you got to be professional yeah. because the um, Michael K. White they can mess up because they keep rewriting and everything. Right, right. But I got to be professional because it's like, wait, who, what's this kid doing? Get yeah. out of here. We ain't got no time for this. <laughs> 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 we don't have no time. Get the hell out. So I had it was cool. I, had, I, I was calling white people old face. So I, I just learned. <laughs> That's I just learned old what school. That was. That's so old, old school. school. Did you not know what, what no, that was? No, I did not. I, I said, wait, what is? What is? Yeah. It? I whispered to the guy. He was like, old face. Like I said, okay. I didn't know what it was. It's like. Like a Another word slurper. for honky. <laughs> yeah, but it's 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 funny. After the show, I looked it up on Wikipedia. There's like two sentences about it. It's like you know, it's it's a racial slur for white people. It didn't make an up, impact. Then you look up the N word. Nine pages. No, yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. tell you what that is. Oh, Faye didn't make an impact. <laughs> it did not make an impact. <laughs> uh, but uh, so, but that, the acting on that show, man, just to be around it. That guy who plays uh, Chalky. 
Of course, uh, Buscemi. Buscemi, man, those, beast, man. those are intense scenes. Yes, man. Oh. yes, Buscemi. I got to see him. I was leaving the set. He was walking in, and he was just like full in character. Right. And you know, I, I don't try to act like a little giddy girl, but it was like, oh, they go Buscemi. Did you get a chance like to, to sit and actually watch him do a scene, or you have to be no, the trailer? They put yeah. us right back in that van. You know how it is. I know that man. <laughs> yes. The honey wagon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I go right to craft service and rack up. Yeah. Get a nice full belly. Nothing wrong with that. Before I go home. So, yeah, no, I, uh, a shoot like that, they probably feed you good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Food was good. Food was good. Yeah, they, to, they had to set I up to in the cafeteria. I put stuff in my pocket. Oh, man. They had to set up in the cafeteria, man. I, it felt like high school. I just, But it was like good <laughs> high school food. No, that's a big budget. Thing. Yeah. You got Wahlberg producing it. Scorsese mm -hmm. producing it, right? Mm -hmm. Who yep. was the director? Was it Van Patten when you were there? Uh, some English guy. It yeah. Was, it, was a, it was two one two different directors on each episode, and I didn't... I didn't no, they watched, are, but they, they were cool. I checked that out because a lot of them were the guys who directed some of the Sopranos, you know. Mm. And they went over to them because it's HBO. Yeah. Did you ever do a shoot like that, John, where you had, no. a, like, a honey wagon or a trailer? No. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. It's fun. I wish. They, they, well, you know. I'd be killing that. It depends on what you're wagon. If it's Portable <laughs> Empire, that's fun. If yeah. it's, like, you yeah. know, something on Nickelodeon, Nick <laughs> Jr., yeah. you're playing the uh, janitor on Nick yeah. Jr. Or them. Come on, right. why don't you shoot Hard Knocks, man? Uh, yeah, well, just, yeah. just try out. Just to Did do that it. come yeah. that around when you were there? Uh, the first season might have been shooting, right? No, I feel like the first season, didn't they do the Baltimore Ravens after, right after they, they won, won the Super Bowl? And I, you were, I was still playing. I mean, they they basically ripped us off in the AFC Championship game the year that they won it. Yeah, you're bitter about that. Yeah, when Big Fat Saragusa broke our <laughs> quarterback. <laughs> you're talking yeah, to, I'm bitter. That's a friend of mine. I know. <laughs> and I think he'd call he himself broke Big Ken? Wow. What do you mean he broke Rich Cannon? He, uh... <laughs> I love hearing that. <laughs> He dr pile drived him into the ground oh, and broke his oh, that's were, Yeah, that's when he was body slamming. <laughs> now yeah, yeah. that's when they were body slamming people. Yeah. Now it's, it's like a five thousand fine. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now they got to they got to hit on people in the Saints. You're I, the first one to say <laughs> that uh, you know, know they should be allowed to play football. Now you're bitching about. It. Well, I took it hard. <laughs> they can do it to anyone but uh, my quarterback. Okay, so I got you. No, I took it hard. Uh, they did it. I watched it some. That year, because yeah. so I was in a hotel all the time, so you know, <laughs> now, that I feel was some on. Type, I feel some type of way. Like I, I'm a Giants, and then I watch uh, the Eagles, yeah. and I, I think Cruz didn't even catch the ball. Some guy just pile drives him back, and it was just like he didn't even catch it. And people, <laughs> and they didn't call nothing. <laughs> I know, you know what? And people are bitter. They want to try to hurt a guy like Cruz, like yeah. Pretty Boy, you know, blah blah blah, doing the dance in the end zone. You know what though? They he, better be careful because that guy really play overcame. He overcame a lot. He you did. know, to absolutely. I did his games when he was a human. I did his UMass games, and there was something where I don't even think he stayed on the team. Like really? something with school got messed up. He what was by far on the team. Something happened with with uh, school. Like he was he was on the team, and then he was but off did, the did team. He and then he was back from on the that? team. Did he graduate? I don't know if he graduated or not. Was his family up, the age? Hey, Victor, get off get off the field. Victor, get off get off the field. Victor. I want money. <laughs> yeah, we got a deal. Victor, yeah, yeah, we, we got a contract sign right now. Yeah, don't play. He was he was by far the best player out there on the team. Liam Cohn, his quarterback, should have just thrown it to him every single play, mm. and they would have won every game by 50. If I, at the level yeah. of UMass, why not? we got to take another break. Uh, Nori Davis, once again, January 3rd and 4th yeah, man. Uh, at the Governor's. We'll finish out the hour with him right after these words. Nice. Welcome back to the Audio Line Show. Nori Davis is here January 3rd and yeah. 4th at the Governor's Comedy Club in uh, <sighs> Long Island. That's a legendary place. It's a good place to get. Yeah. It's been around wait. a long I'm time. I, I came up there. That was oh, like, okay. Because, you know, like, you know, you start out with clubs that start you out and you host, you host for a while, then you feature, right. you feature. So now they're headlining me, which good. is good. good. So because that was a strong feature. Like, that was my job to, like, try to be strong. But I, I'm not the type to be like, hey, I'm going to take your job headlining, which I am. <laughs> but I, hey, I everybody's got to have you know ambition, man. Yeah, you know? exactly. So it's cool. They're giving me this opportunity and I'm going to bring it home like 45, right? Comedy. Yeah, 45 minutes in a yeah, club. And cool. it's good. Just keep it a solid tight. You, uh, you, uh, have goals as far as like television is concerned? Do you want to do a sitcom? You want to do movies? What What do you see yourself doing more? My goal whatever is, comes along. Whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that. Whatever comes along, but right now is working on the act because I can control it. I can't control TV, can't control movies, but I can control what I put out on stage. I'm the boss of that. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. So that that's where I'm at. Just working on that act so I can sell it and hopefully get people to watch it and then come out to the shows and, and come enjoy the show, man. Yeah, I mean... Right, I, Mike? Hey. If you're doing it, yeah. Well, Mike is working on... Uh, <laughs> what are you working on, Mike? Tubby Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, do you know about that project? <laughs> yeah, yeah, He was at Adult Swim funny. today, too. Adult Swim, really? Yeah, Mike He's on the Eric was. Andre show? 
no, no. <laughs> uh, Adult Swim, like, I did promos and things like that over there. Like, nice. Thing. How yeah. long do they keep you there for? From, like, 12 to, like, 5.30. He's got to get, he's gotta get a better rate. Yeah. You got to help him out. <laughs> did they feed you? <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, 5.30. Yeah, yeah. Five and a half hours, man. That's a lot of time. Yeah. That's a lot of time. Did you get some craft uh, services? <laughs> well, awesome. look at them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, that was, that's the thing. If you're already doing an hour, you probably want to do a special, right? And yeah, then, you know, yeah. You do a, the half an hour. Go for, like, right. that and just keep building the material. And take my time, man. That's a marathon, man. What's the rush? No, I, I might die tomorrow, but, no, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a marathon. I'm not like, give me all that right now. And then, then you're up there and you only have that old hour. You can't be you know? like that, man. So. Yeah, because before you know it, you know, you're there and you're like, now what? Yeah. Now, then stuff gets overwhelming. Exactly. And, you, know, you don't want that. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, go ahead. Whole, right. bump, whole bunch of people, give us some more. And you're like, hey, I, hey you yeah, like this old joke? We heard that. Right. Oh, okay. Forget the audience. You, yeah, then you exactly. got the people swarming around you like managers, agents, this guy, this guy, this uh, guy's yeah. assistant. Everybody's getting a commission, you know. Yeah, man. That's yo, what you don't want. Look, Artie, man, I'm not trying to be a hot pocket. I'm trying to be a turkey, man. Turkey's, <laughs> you got turkey salad, you got leftovers. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah I'm absolutely. Trying, I'm not trying to be a hot a pocket. Hot pocket. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hot pockets. <laughs> Especially uh, a lot of hot pockets, and they come in the form of broads. Too. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you have a girl? Do you have a girl? Uh, yes, I have a girlfriend. Ever and I have, No, I don't have a girlfriend. I have a, I have a baby mama. I have a mother of my child. Not a baby mama because I don't go to court. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. Is that the difference? Yeah, that's the difference. If you go to court, that's a baby mama. When you don't, it's the mother of your child. <laughs> Everything's yeah. fine. Good. good. I'm glad to hear. Well, listen, come, you. come back anytime. Oh, man, please. Anytime. And again, man. Love to. Uh, January 3rd and 4th, governors, look uh, look for Nori there, the great Nori Davis. And please, you got an open uh, invite. Come back. Thank you, plug man. Plug something. I read or, your book. It's okay. great, man. Thank you. Well, I, I listen to it. it. I yeah. read it. I mean, who? I ain't got Yeah. That's all I did. <laughs> oh, the that's all I did. Back in. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.